Yo, what is up? This is the book today here with more military knowledge. Today we're going to be talking about haircuts. I'm going to go get a haircut, show you it, give you the regulations, all that here with facilities, how we do it, and get a haircut in the United States Navy. I want to say, please like this video, please subscribe, let's keep going here, let's keep building here, I want to keep spreading the word out from military, give you guys awareness on what it's like being in the military, being out on liberty, being a sailor here. I'm going to give you a day in the life here. Let's go get this haircut, we're going to talk about regulations here, and yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. Please subscribe and let's get to the video. So, right now, here I'm out here at my home right now. Here, it's in the afternoon here on Saturday. We're gonna go see the line here. I'm gonna go over to the next today. Normally, I go off base to get a haircut for the day. I wanted to save a little bit of money, so I'm gonna go get me a haircut the next day. Unfortunately, I know it's that. I like going to another place better, but I'll base. Preferably, but it's more expensive. So that's one thing you have to decide here in the Navy. You can go off base once you go through boot camp and all that. You can get your haircut off base. You don't have to do it in the Navy. Navy is only like 10 bucks or so. It's a lot cheaper. But off base can be like 30, 20, 30 bucks off base, which a lot of times are better haircuts or some spend more time. But sometimes you need a cheaper haircut. So today we're going to go to the next. I'm going to show you this how it is getting your haircut the next year. Here, so I'm going to grab my keys here. And let's go. As you see, I got a new car recently. It was about two months ago here. I've been here. I haven't really got to make a video on it. Yeah, I'm hoping to make a video soon, but right now I have to get a haircut, so I'll make, hopefully make another video one of these days to show you my car. But please make sure. But yeah, so this is my new car. We can go to the haircut now. Here's the barber beauty shop here. So I got number 57 here. It's gonna be a little bit of ways like 43. So I'm gonna go over to Starbucks here, give me some coffee. Oh, Starbucks is back here, but that's pretty much something I'm gonna get some coffee. So I got me my coffee, it's a white mocha here. I'm gonna go get a haircut here. I'm gonna go wait, get this haircut here, and see how long it takes. Hopefully it'll be quick. So I got my haircut here. I got the one medium fade here, a little bit on top here. That's what I normally do in it. That's kind of one thing you can get here. I'll talk about more here when I get back. I'm on my way home, so we'll get more of the haircut in just a moment. And I'm back home right now here. I'm really just kind of discuss a little bit about the haircuts and stuff here. Being in the Navy. Being in the Navy for about three years now, I've noticed for like your haircuts, honestly, they're going to be more, I'd say not zip, but I feel like they're a little bit more strict when you're like a school boot camp here. I mean, in the fleet, yeah, you got to get a haircut. I mean, honestly, I'd say get a haircut every about two, maybe three. Three weeks at the most, three weeks at the most if you're going real fast, about two weeks. Get a haircut every two weeks, so that's a good rule to get here. Then you should be pretty much good with your hair cut, honestly. And what I've noticed from haircuts, there's supposed to be regulations of like four inches and all that. Honestly, for your hair, as long as you're getting, as I said, haircut every two weeks, I don't really get a one medium fade here with this up here cut a little bit. Here. Some people get the bald fades, some will get high fades, all that. I don't need the medium fade one, just because I like a little bit of hair, but this is still in the ranks here. And honestly, here, as long as you're getting haircuts and having your hair neat, you're gonna be just fine here on haircuts. It's not like, oh, your hair is this much. Now, I've never really met somebody who's just that, like, oh, look, your hair is off. Gotta get a haircut now. And it, even if you have to get a haircut, those are gonna be like, hey, just go get a haircut. Go get a haircut, you're all good. And they, they're not gonna be like, oh, you had a haircut, that's a hit. I'm gonna get on you now. They're just gonna say, go get a haircut. You will get your haircut, you're good, everything's good here. And that's pretty much normally what it is when um, you get haircuts. Honestly, for your hair regulations on the as long as your hair is within a natural color, like you're blonde, you're brown, you're red, black, as long as it's a natural color, your hair's pretty fine. You can't go off and have bright pink hair. You can't go off that now, I'm sorry, that's not gonna happen. But if you get the natural color hair, if you dye your hair or whatever, you'll be okay as long as it's not like fattish. And that's pretty much what I have to say about haircuts is don't go fattish. As long as it looks good, clean, every like two weeks, saw that, you're gonna be just fine in your haircuts here. So yeah, that's gonna be it here. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video by saying that's kind of what to expect on the haircuts here. Normally they're about nine bucks in the military, nine or ten bucks, that's not too much. As I said, you can go out of town, get your hair cut, that's no problem here, so make sure that that's one thing. It's kind of the regulations here for haircuts out here in the Navy, so I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, and next time, I'll hope to see you next time in the next video. See ya.